Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of 3D Printing Pleb. So today I am showing you how to support a chin or basically any little object that needs to be supported that's kind of like through the model. Like how do, how do I get to that? The angle would be too steep if I did it from the front. Um, by the way, before I continue, I feel like I should mention that this model is a Titan Forge model. If you like the model, go follow their Patreon. It's $10 a month for tons and tons of great models. Personally, I like their bases the best. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a support. I want it to kind of be in line with the chin, so like right here. So just hit add, add support. That doesn't work, so add it up here instead. Edit it, drag it down, bring it over here move it a bit closer to the body, make sure it's not too close so you don't get that gap. Then I'm going to change some of my settings. Um, actually, I want this as close to the actual point as possible because I'm going to be changing the parameters of this to be very, very small. So what I'm going to do is 0.15. By the way, I'm in edit mode. Oops, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Okay, go to top. Notice I have these at 30 right now. I'm going to set them all to 0 0.15. And when I'm in edit mode, if I set all these, it'll just snap back once I go to um, add mode again. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and 0.15. Now this is destined to fail, but since it's short, it shouldn't fail before it actually reaches the model. Then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to drag it to the other side of the model under the chin. Then I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. I don't quite like where it's coming out from, so I'm going to take this pillar and I'm going to move it if it will let me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Well, oh, okay, that's very strange. Sometimes it will let you adjust it if you just adjust your um, viewpoint enough. Although not this time. So let's actually just redo this support from scratch so you can see a second example. I'm back to add supports. Go to a place where you can actually add a support. There we go. You might notice that it is once again the thicker support. Then take this, edit it, drag it to the front of the model somewhere where you can see it. It's very important to drag it to somewhere where it's actually visible and then just place it under the chin. Go and erase this support. Back to edit. This support here. If you don't know how I'm switching around between things so fast, go see episode 1. And then change this to 15, 15, and 15. Then you can see that's just coming out from her neck and going right to her chin. Great little tip for supporting a lot of very hard to reach areas. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.